going on friends and Luis here with Techno Fan PTY. Today we're gonna take a look at the new update on Samsung Galaxy S5 with Verizon Wireless to the new Android 5.0 Lollipop. Let's go ahead and start. Right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look here at what are the differences now after the update to Android Lollipop 5.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, first, let me tell you today is uh, February the 5th, as you guys can see right here. And uh, I was actually able to download this update yesterday, February 4th. Uh, I just decided to look in the settings of my phone and see if there were any updates available. And to my surprise, uh, there was an update uh, for Android Lollipop. And now, one thing to mention, guys, is that the update is actually two different updates. Uh, basically, they uh, split the update in two different files. Uh, because of the size of the update, uh, they had to do it like that. So when you download the update, uh, you're gonna download one and it's gonna take about 10 minutes uh, to install the update and go through the whole process. Uh, once, once you finish, the phone is gonna reboot and it's gonna say that successfully was uh, installed. Uh, if you try to look at uh, some of the changes and all that, you're not gonna see anything yet because you need to download the second part. If you go into the settings again and click on uh, a software update, uh, you should see the second update. And it's gonna tell you, uh, there's gonna be a message uh, on the top and it's gonna say, this is the second update. That one takes actually uh, about 18 minutes and is a bigger uh, from the two. So once you download the second update, uh, you're gonna be then uh, upgraded to Android 5.0 or Lollipop. Uh, this is a stock uh, version of the uh, S5 right now that you guys are looking at. Uh, I just have this uh, 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 wallpaper in the background from a Monster, but everything else is stock. Uh, so uh, let me show you first, uh, you know, the phone around here. So uh, going to the left, we're gonna get access right here to my magazine. And uh, right here we have a couple of more screens to the other side. So that's, you know, nothing changed there. Uh, the changes are basically on the menus, uh, the look of the uh, notifications, the dialer also change, uh, the font uh, also change. So uh, first thing, let me show you when the screen is off, uh, if you just tap right here the home to look at a notification, it's gonna look like this. And this is with everything, not only Facebook, e either if you get a WhatsApp or email, uh, you know, whatever the case is, when you tap on the screen before you unlock the phone, it's gonna show you the notification that way. From this point, you can swipe and get rid of the notification, or you can unlock the phone and go ahead and access the notification. A uh, couple of other things here, when you swipe down here, uh, as you guys can see now, the menu change, uh, the look of the icons, it's uh, different now. And uh, it's showing right here that I'm using the power saving mode. Uh, before that, uh, there was a little icon showing here in the corner uh, with a, kind of like, looked like a battery, but it was saying power saving mode. Now it's not showing there and you see it right here. As you guys can see, I don't have the uh, brightness in the auto mode right now because it's just too bright, even with the auto mode, so you guys wouldn't be able to see uh, the screen. Uh, so going here into the uh, main settings, uh, as you guys can see now, uh, all the icons uh, also change, and uh, they kind of look like the, uh, basically like the uh, Gmail application. Kind of the same look, the same feeling, uh, so this is another change here and you can change the view there and as you guys saw I was uh, getting an email uh, while we were looking at the menu so if I uh, lock the screen and try to adjust a press home uh, there is uh, the email so you're gonna you're gonna get a little preview uh, of uh, the message or the email or whatever it is that you're getting you're gonna get a little preview there so, you, so at least you can read it, uh, at least at the beginning of the message or whatever you're getting. And if you think it's something that you want to go ahead and see, 
then you can go ahead and, lo and unlock it. And as a matter of fact, as we're speaking right now, it looks like I got another uh, digital WhatsApp uh, message. So if I press home right here, as you guys can see now, it's showing two notifications. Uh, again, I can go ahead and swipe and get rid of the notifications on or lock and go ahead and access the notification. And as you guys can see, it's also showing there. So I'm not gonna read that right now. Uh, let me show you now the uh, dialer application. Uh, as you guys can see, the dialer application change. Uh, it looks uh, different. And uh, we have right here also a different look uh, for each of these uh, tabs. Uh, so this is the keypad. Uh, right here we have the recent calls. And as you guys can see, uh, all the icons and, and uh, the contacts have this uh, circular uh, icon. Uh, if you have the pictures stored on your phone, of course, it's going to show the picture of the person. Uh, there's the favorites. And it shows you frequently contacted. And here's uh, the look at the contacts. Uh, you can tap on the letter and it's going to take you to that particular contact. Or you can search by typing the name right there. So that's as far as the dialer. And I'm going to make a test call here. Just uh, dialing star 611 customer service. So you guys can see the other interface. So this is the other interface here. Where you, what, one, once you're in the middle of a phone call, I'm sorry. Uh, so you can add a call, you can click on the keypad, uh, you can do speakerphone, and you can mute. Now there is another thing, uh, since we're talking about the keypad or the phone application, there's another thing that I want to show you guys. Uh, but first, uh, let's take a look here at the uh, app drawer. As far as the app drawer, uh, I don't see much of uh, changes. Uh, but just in case, if we tap right there, you're gonna you're still gonna have the option to edit, create folder, and uh, do a couple of other things. Uh, I believe this is, this is about the same than it was before. So um, another thing is um, when we go here into the settings, uh, as you guys can see now, it's showing right here advanced calling, and it shows a video camera that was not there before this is part of the update and as a matter of fact uh, if you guys want to go back and refer to uh, one of my videos that i did about the uh, two uh, motorola droid turbos uh, after they received a major update this is one of the things that downloaded with that update for the motorola droid turbo so the uh, video calling so uh, i have not yet activated this feature but if I tap right there, it tells you right there, activate advanced calling. Uh, you can upgrade to uh, HD voice and video calling. Uh, this is a free service. Uh, this is a through Verizon service. So it's part of your uh, calling features. Uh, so if your phone uh, offers this feature, or if your, your phone is upgradable to Android 5, uh, you're gonna be able to enjoy this uh, feature for free. Uh, there's no charge or anything like that uh, i'm not gonna do it right now but if you guys want to refer to my video of the uh video calling uh, feature on the droid uh, turbos uh you're gonna be able to see uh, what i'm talking about here uh, once you activate this and subscribe to the hd voice and video calling uh, and then you access right here the uh phone application and you make a phone call right here you're gonna see a camera and then you can tap on that camera and you can start doing video calling uh, with somebody uh, of course uh, using the front facing camera it's a really cool feature uh, what else uh, uh, I think pretty much that covers uh, everything uh, I noticed uh, overall the phone it's uh, working faster uh, moving I don't know really really quick as far as the contacts, uh, there is this uh, feature right here. Uh, it tells you right there, tap on the plus button to create contacts. Uh, once you are on a contact, if you swipe right, it's gonna start making a phone call to that particular person. Uh, if you swipe to the left, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to send a message to that person. 
So uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can demonstrate something here. Uh, so let's uh, let's use this guy right here. Uh, of course, I'm gonna hang up uh, right away. But if I swipe to the right, as you guys can see, it's gonna start calling that person. I'm gonna hang up right now. And uh, if I swipe to the left, it's gonna take me to the message application. And I'm gonna be able to send a message, message I'm sorry, to that person right away from my contacts uh, uh, without uh, the need to press on the contact and then decide you know, if you wanna send a message or uh, make a phone call. Uh, right here, uh, without, uh, without the need to uh, you know, creating a new contact, you just uh, press right here on the plus and right away you can go ahead and add a contact, a new person. Uh, I think pretty much uh, this, this uh, covers everything, guys. Uh, like I said, it's uh, two parts uh, for the update, two files. Uh, one is going to take about 10 minutes. The other one is going to take about 18 minutes. So all together, you're going to be you're going to be doing this for about half an hour. Um, and then uh, once you complete the second update, as I said, uh, that's when you're going to see the changes uh, on the on the look on the phone and the. Uh, uh, different things out so um there there are other changes uh as far as um, uh, the performance of the phone and all that uh but visible changes pretty much uh, the ones that i show you uh and of course uh if you want to go ahead and subscribe as i mentioned it to you to the uh, advanced calling which is uh, free why not then you're gonna be able to do video calling out i guess another thing i can show you um if we access for for example uh whatsapp let me see if i can find it here um where is a whatsapp right here uh, as you guys can see the icons also change they have that circular uh look with the picture of the person uh, just like uh, gmail so uh, when it comes to contacts, I guess uh, this is uh, across all the applications. This is the way they're going to look. So I really, really like it. Uh, so guys, uh, with that, I want to thank you for watching this uh, video. Subscribe for more. Again, uh, Luis here with Technofan PTY. Uh, please uh, share the video to help others. And this was a look here at the uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop update on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, with Verizon Wireless. So guys, uh, if you have the S5 uh, with Verizon Wireless, uh, go ahead, go ahead and check for the update and download, download friends, uh, the Android Lollipop. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it, love it so much, especially the calling uh, feature, video calling. Guys, uh, thank you and we'll see you on the next one.